Okay, uh, gang, this is a uh, training that, uh, as you know, we do um, a couple of times a month. It's our, our global uh, weekend training that we do uh, at least twice a month that uh, really does, as Jamie is sharing with you, um, people, distributors, um, our team virtually around the world. Um, Jamie, I don't know how many countries or markets uh, we're, we're hitting here this afternoon, and it's, I uh, say this afternoon, that's 12 p.m., Eastern Standard Time here in Toronto, Canada, uh, but we will have multiple, multiple time zones uh, uh, that are tied into this call, and I know the call is being recorded, so um, for any of you that uh, uh, miss anything through this call or feel like you need to, and it's always good to go back, uh, as I've always done over the years, um, over what, um, you know, I've, I've trained on or you know, what I've listened to or to my coaches and my mentors and, and anything um, I believe of significance that's going to help my world, my life, my business, et cetera, et cetera, um, I will go over that. So, you know, we'll provide that for you uh, on the Steam Team uh, .ca site. So um, that'll be all um, there uh, recorded. But, um, James, as, as you talked about a philosophy here in, um, in introducing uh, me for today, um, it's, uh, it's very interesting. what. You know, when 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 people, I, I think when for for so many people, um, you know, that are out there directly or indirectly, they're pers they're pursuing a lifestyle, um, and that lifestyle is, you know, where do they where are they going to live? How are they going to live? Um, what schools are their their children going to be going to? Um, what are they going to wear? What cars do they drive? Um, you know, what do people think of them? Um, what do, you know, the places they travel, uh, the neighborhood they're in, the country and the market they're in, uh, all of this, everything that determines a lifestyle, and, and that can be health as well as uh, social and, and spiritual. All of it ties into that lifestyle. Um, you know, it's been said by the people that I've really been given most of my guidance and direction to over the years that your lifestyle really starts with your philosophy. And in tying in with the philosophy that you'd have, um, just personally, and, and where you want to be in your world, tied into this business here with NHT, and what you're doing, building your organization, and building your business, and where you ultimately want to be um, with your lifestyle, in the end, in your end game, and where you, you want to end up or, uh, through this process, and, and what you're pursuing, um, your lifestyle will all, always start with that philosophy. And I want to talk to you uh, today about a philosophy that has worked so, 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 um, so importantly um, and so incredibly well around the world, uh, particularly in our strongest market where it started, which was in China. And it, it started with just a, a simple concept, a tool uh, that we introduced to, to the marketplace and the philosophy behind it and why it's worked so well. But in understanding a philosophy uh, and why does that determine a lifestyle is, is look at this, this, the steps that, that come from, that, from your initial philosophy and what you have. You know, your philosophy is everything that, uh, you, you know, just in life in general, is everything that you have in growing up. I mean, it's your, your parents, your neighborhood, uh, the people you listen to, which, which you're surrounded with, um, the books that you're reading, everything that you're taking in from a social, economic um, circle, way of life, your world, whatever that is, that you're, that is significant to, to you and what's coming into you will eventually determine your philosophy. And that is a whole, that's a process, but it's everything that's in your world will determine your philosophy. But your philosophy will determine your attitude. Your attitude will determine the actions that you take all the actions that you take, so many of the actions that you take. And those actions will determine the results that you get, the kinds of results that you get. And the results that you get will deter determine the type of lifestyle that you have. That's just life in general, and that's just a fundamental. Um, I actually uh, got a lot of that direction from my uh, late mentor, Jim Rowan, when he talks about the five pieces uh, to the puzzle and the five pieces of the puzzle of life. And, and it talks about a philosophy and how that will determine your attitude, which determines the actions that you will take, which will determine the results that you will get from obviously those actions. 
and that will determine your lifestyle. I, you know, we can have a long, long conversation just about that, but I wanted to um, use it as a platform as we move forward here and why this platinum package that we have with NHT is so critically important to the success of your business. Why it's working, how it's working, the philosophy of it, the results that you're going to get from it, and the lifestyle that you're going to get from it, all of it. And it has worked 100% of the time. Now, I'm going to share some very interesting numbers and facts and stats with you. Thank you, Jamie. As we move on to the history of, of our Platinum Package, when we introduced our Platinum Package. Now, now gang, you know, uh, for anyone that is getting involved with NHT, you can get involved basically at any level. You can join as a, as a customer. Um, and our the core of our business is is based on satisfied customers that are buying the product, reordering the product, using the product, consuming the product, and just having the great, great results in our product. Um, our business and our world would not be happening and the great success we wouldn't be having uh, if we didn't have incredible, incredible products, particularly with the repeat business, the reorder business that we have, and these staggering, staggering testimonials that are coming through. But you know, you can get involved and start in our business at any level, but never forget that products really aren't driving your business. People move products. Products don't move people. So our people, our leadership has driven this opportunity, and the products have been just a great, great part of the tremendous results of this business model that we've introduced 15 years ago and taking this opportunity around the world. I'm going to give you a brief history here for, for a lot of you that are maybe listening to the call for the first time or some of you that are, um, you know, we've been around a long time, 15 years. Um, very proud of, uh, of our results of what NHT has, has achieved here and accomplished. And, and for so many of you, you know the numbers that have come in uh, from a publicly traded standpoint, the volume that we've done, the staggering stats that have come in from virtually around the world, and how we're now getting recognized, not in just on, the, uh, you know, in our industry with network marketing and multi-level, but uh, what's happening on Wall Street. And uh, so we've gone from Main Street to Wall Street with our, uh, and, and M the MLM Street, the network marketing street, to virtually just about every possible type of distribution street around the world. It's just incredible what we've done. But it hasn't gone without challenges and adversity. But that has all characterized um, who we are today. And it's determined really what we are today because we've been able to, uh, you know, there's been resolved through all of the challenges and the issues that, that we've come through, that we've gone through and we've gone over. And they, they say that about leadership, when, uh, which, which our whole company is about, is that we focus on the goals, not on the obstacles. But we certainly have had to go through an awful lot of challenges and issues that I think for the most part have, um, you know, knocked out a lot of companies in our industry and outside of our industry in their legacies and in their journey. But it has characterized us and has made us stronger today than ever before. But when we started off back in 2001, uh, Garcia and I, my partner, we were the first distributors. We were literally the founding distributors, started with one product. Um, we had a handful of distributors here in Toronto, Canada. Uh, we were only in that one market, basically North America, even though we started in Canada, our business quickly grew into the U.S. as we opened up the two countries at the same time. So we had tremendous growth in that first year. Um, we had great growth the second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. But it was around year five and six, we had some issues internally. And that's all in our, that's public traded information. Uh, we had some internal um, management adjustments, changes, to put it lightly, and uh, our business dropped, um, and then it flattened out, and it took us a few years to really find our way again to get our business back to where it was and beyond. Well, we didn't get it back to where it was and beyond. We have gone way, way beyond we ever were before, and even uh, beyond our expectations and our goals. We have broken Every, I was just talking to a fund manager uh, three days ago, one of the, the top institutions in the United States and Wall Street. Um, we've exceeded every expectation from a publicly traded standpoint in the last 36 months, every single quarter. It's just been incredible what we've gone through. But there's a reason why. And I'm going to take you back to this. And I take you halfway when we've went through these challenges. Um, 
which was sort of midstream where we are today after 15 years. As I said, it was around year five and year six. And we had flat sales for a number of years. We internally, um, as, as a leader, from a leadership standpoint, and corporately with NHT, and the, the, the corporate team, we tried many incentives and promotions to to restart the engines, to re get the to get the business going again, to to get that growth back. We tried different um, different promotions, different uh, incentives, different types and kinds of events. Uh, it just we just didn't seem to get any traction until we introduced this one particular tool, which is the Platinum Package. Such a simple, simple tool. I go back to what I was sharing with you a few minutes ago, that you can start at any position in our, in our compensation plan is, or getting involved with NHT, and we embrace and reward and support all of those people. But we've got to provide, with, provide you with the facts and, and what has happened. Um, you can start as a bronze. You can start as a silver. Uh, in North America, you've got gold specials and promotions that are going on for 500 BV. Um, as a silver, you know, it's 250 BV. As a bronze, nine, 900 B or 90 BV. And as a customer, as an acquisition, you basically, you, you, you just start, uh, you need to get registered with the company. Um, but our platinum package that we introduced uh, a few years ago is 1250 BV. Now, I'm not going to get into all of the bells and whistles that come with the Platinum package and starting with that amount of product. Some people have been hesitant when they looked at it. When they first looked at it, ah, it's, a, it's a little bit too much product. Um, they looked at the gold packs. They looked at the silver. They looked at the bronze. Well, this is all a part of this philosophy that I'm going to share with you and, and, why, and you know, why we've succeeded and why this has worked. Well, let me just tell you the results and the facts of what's happened, and then I'm going to tell you why it's happened. So initially, it was we launched it in China about five years ago. I was in Hawaii with uh, two other global ambassadors, Garcia and myself, uh, Huna and Molly. They, uh, well, there was only four uh, active ambassadors at that time, and they had just introduced the Platinum Package. Initially, the platinum package was not embraced by the Chinese leadership. We hadn't introduced it anywhere else in the world, just in China first. They thought it was too expensive. Remember, the average income per capita in China, um, like it is in a lot of the emerging markets, only a couple hundred dollars a month U.S. For all of you Westerners that are out there, hear what I just said, two or three hundred dollars a month. That's the average income per capita for a citizen in any of those emerging markets pretty much across the board, give or take um, a few percentage points on that. You take a look at the average North American today, they're probably making about $35,000, $40,000 a year. So, um, you know, there's uh, the income that you've got in the Western world is, is certainly far superior to what you've got in these emerging markets. But it's the emerging markets that are driving our business. Why? Because of their philosophy, which I'm going to explain to you a little bit more of how that is working um, just here in the next few minutes. But let's look at what happened. Initially, China did not, the leadership did not embrace it, thought it was too expensive. When they thought it was too expensive and it wasn't going to work, et cetera, et cetera, their leadership did the same thing. When their leadership did the same thing, their people did the same thing. No one did it. No one embraced it. This went on for six months. Eventually, Mali and Huna, their leadership that we had in China, took it on. Um, we got to a point where we had tried other incentives, other promotions. We thought, well, let's give it a go. They embraced it wholeheartedly, and when they did, their leadership did. When their leadership did, their teams did. When their teams did, their teams did. Remember, people will do what you do, not what you ask and tell them to do. So much of what we do is by action, not so much your words. So, you know, one of my great coaches uh, over the years always said, watch their feet, not their lips. Watch what they do not what they ask and tell you to do. Anyways, they, they embraced it. Their business exploded. In the, take a look at the growth of China in the last four years. It has been staggering, staggering. Um, we will probably come in this year just under 300 million in sales. Four years ago, we were probably around 25 million in terms of uh, annualized sales. All of this is being driven by the Chinese, so much of our Chinese growth. 
99% of the orders that are coming in through our teams in China are now coming through platinum packages. It's a fact. Let's move over to Russia. So we launched Russia a little over five years ago. Uh, I had the same thing. Initially, the, uh, the leadership didn't embrace it. I shared, started sharing with them what was happening in China. Um, eventually, uh, the Russian leadership took it on. But as I said, initially, the Russian leadership didn't take it on. Their, their people didn't take it on. And what was duplicated down through, the, through their teams and their, uh, and their groups. So when all of this happened, um, you know, the sales had kind of flat, had flattened in Russia. But eventually, the leadership did embrace it. And when they embraced it, their leadership embraced it. This was with the core leadership that we had in Russia. Then their teams embraced it. And eventually, all of their people embraced it. We had spectacular growth in Russia. And we were actually, Russia was on the point of catching China in terms of overall revenue and sales percentage-wise. They, they were going faster. And that was once they introduced, when they initially introduced the uh, platinum package. Now, China has not let up. They continue to move forward into other markets. They've now gone into Japan, which I'm going to talk about in the rest of the world. They've gone into other parts of the Far East. Um, and they've now come into North America, all focusing on this platinum package. But it's the philosophy that I'm going to talk to you about and why it's working so well. So what happened with the Russians is that after about two years, and I take part, part of the responsibility on it, is that they did not move the product the way they were supposed to. And that was really through the direction of Garcia and, and Cato, not giving them the proper direction on how to move the product. I just understood that they would know how to move the product, and they stalled. Because some of them were not moving the product, but they, weren't being, they, they didn't have a strategy in place to move the product, which is what we're going to talk about today, which is critical. They stopped moving and stopped believing and stopped using the, the platinum product and the platinum package. Sales plummeted. It was in combination with a number of other things that happened with the geopolitical issues that we had with Ukraine and Russia, et cetera, et cetera, which is a year ago last March. But uh, we've been able to overcome a lot of other challenges in the, throughout the rest of the world um, internally through our model and our system and our incentives and our promotions, but particularly and especially with this platinum package. Now, we've been able to start just turning that around again in Russia, where we've got the strategy in place to how to move the platinum package effectively, cleanly, quickly, and make it more productive and lucrative for all of our people. So it ends up being a win-win end game for all of our distributors and our leaders. But quickly moving over here to the rest of the world, in the other markets that we have, from Japan to Taiwan to South Korea, Every other market that we go to, wherever they're embracing the platinum package, sales are soaring, growing, soaring, exploding. Wherever the teams are building through the bronze or the silver, coming on maybe as a customer, sales are either flat, slow, or dying. And I'm just sharing with you, gang, a fact, and now I'm going to share with you why. So those are the facts. That is what has happened. And as we go to the next slide here, you'll start to see why. Now, the platinum, um, this whole philosophy um, will come down to basically a strategy. And we'll go to the next slide here and, and how this works and, and, and what it is. The, the whole philosophy is based on abundance. Um, there's a great book out there. Uh, if you haven't read it, you've got to read it. It was written a number of years ago. The great Garcia turned me on to it. I've turned him on to so many books over the years. And recently, he's probably turned me on to more than I've been able to turn on to him. He's just such a tremendous student, a tremendous student, but a great, great book called Abundance. But, you know, in this book, it talks about um, with abundance and the philosophy of abundance and what abundance does. You know, abundance is is more of, um, it's, it's a, again, a philosophy, abundance versus the poverty uh, mentality that you have that's out there. Um, I'm going to get into those slides here again as we go on a little bit further in, in how, that, uh, how important that is. But we were going to talk about, first of all, the platinum uh, packaging, what you're supposed to do, and how that all works. 
But in terms of abundance, I'm going to get into more of why that is so important versus when you when you think from a from an abundant standpoint of what you can achieve and what you can do versus what you can't do, where you can go where you can, versus where you can't go, what you can become versus what you can't become, where you can live versus where you can't live. This is all abundant thinking versus poverty thinking. This is, you know, someone once said uh, that socialism is, socialism is a great plan until you run out of other people's money. In all due respect with that, with what we have with our focus, it's having you focus on all of the things that you can become, what you can be, what your world can be, what your children can be, what your family can be, what your com country can be, what your nation can be, what your business can be, everything that you can be to be better and to grow versus the other side of it. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that as we get into uh, this strategy. But quite simply, moving forward with the strategy and how you get started is that. you First of all, you're a platinum. You would start as a platinum. And your focus in that first 30 days is to move all of the product within the first 30 days through consumption and retail. Some people say, well, that's a lot of product. Well, it's pretty simple. And it's actually, I want to use the word easy. I don't want to use the word easy because you have to go to work. But, you know, people are, uh, it, you know, from an abundant standpoint, are work oriented versus, thank God, it's Friday oriented. And, you know, my great coach and mentor years and years ago said one of the key characteristics for you succeeding long term is that you will have to go to work. This is not a lottery. So there's going to be some work involved. But quite simply, what you do, is that you put a list together within the first 48 hours. And in through that list, you want to be able to, with the product that you've got, getting, you want to be trying all of the NHT products, all of the products that you've got through the Platinum Package. Find out what works for you, what makes you look better, what makes you feel better, what makes you have better relations with your spouse or your partner. Uh, you want to consume, the, you want to be consuming the product. But number two, Get as many of your family members, all of your family members that you've got, onto the product. You let them know that you're involved in a new business and you want to get them on the product, try the product. Give me your feedback on the product. I'd like to know as soon as uh, you, know, you, you follow up with them in that first seven days to find out how, what kind of results uh, that they're getting on the product. But you're getting the product out. Number two is that you're getting the product out at retail. Is a lot of these products, you're receiving an over 100% commission when you're selling these products. Today is not a training on how to market the products and build through retail. That is another training. We can provide it for you. We do provide it for you. It's on the Steam Team site. But your focus is you get to that list of people that you've provided for your, you know, with your sponsor in the first 48 hours to consume that product, retail that product, Get everyone that you know through your, your family members on the product within that first 30 days. The product can't be in your house other than the products that you're using, that you're consuming yourself. The products need to be into the mouths of other people, onto the faces of your, your prospects or your customers, and uh, all of your other potential distributors that you could be bringing into the business. So that is your focus. When you become a platinum and you get that package, you move it within the first 30 days. Now, on the next slide, your second focus that you have here is that you're sponsoring platinum distributors. Remember, people are going to do what you do, not what you ask and tell them to do. So your focus is to teach that 30-day plan. Teach that 30-day plan that I just went through with you on that previous slide when you're, when you're sponsoring these other platinum distributors. Your goal in the first 30 days, your goal is to get three other platinum distributors on board with you, two on one side, one on the other side. You do that, and you will cycle. Let's go to the next slide. Once you've, you've done, you, you started uh, as a platinum, you're, you've sponsored uh, three platinums onto your team. You're, that's going to be your focus on sponsoring platinums. You're now building a team of platinum distributors, and you want to be teaching that 30-day plan and focus, focus on driving the list. What I mean by that is that every person that comes into the business 
is committed to a list within the first 48 hours. So, so much of what you're doing is that you're not only bringing in new people, is that you're supporting and driving the list of all of the people that you've been bringing down through your organization. It, is, it has always been said the fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune is really down through your group, not so much in the people that you brought into the business personally, but down through the people that they know and the people that they know. So you want to teach that 30-day plan in moving the product all within 30 days. And that's through retail, basically demonstration, and your demonstration is, is all the retail, and the consumption, having people in your family, your immediate family, all trying the products, and you want to be trying all the products to find out what are the best products for you that make you look better, feel better, better relations with your, your better half, your spouse, your partner, et cetera, et cetera. So you drive that list. Moving on to the next slide. What are you creating? Remember, and I've said this and I'm going to continue to say it because it's so, so important. What you do, your people will do. The speed of the group will always be dictated by the speed of the leader. So in doing this, what are you creating? If you were bringing on a team of bronze, what would you be creating? If you're bringing on a, a team and sponsoring silvers, what would you be creating? Same thing with gold, the same thing with platinum. So let's take up the next slide. So what are you creating? You're creating this abundance philosophy versus the poverty mentality that I talked to you about a little bit earlier. They said that abundance, that abundance philosophy, uh, they don't accept mediocrity. That poverty mentality, they'll accept mediocrity. Abundance philosophy, you'll find that those types of leaders, they'll always have a plan. The others, they're always going to have an excuse. You know, I said it earlier that uh, from an abundance standpoint, those people that are abundance driven, those leadership types, they're all work oriented. The other ones, they're thank God it's Friday oriented. You know, those abundant, abundant thinkers, those ones with that abundance philosophy, they can push rejection aside. The others, they can't handle rejection. Now, I talked to you about what abundance will do. It's making you, again, creating that thought process because, you know, you are a mirror image of your consistent thoughts. You're a mirror image of your consistent thoughts. As James Allen said, you are what you think about all day long. It's also been said that your lifestyle, your lifestyle will never, ever exceed your self-image. So it all starts with a thought. Everything that you do in this, in this world and what you do starts with what you think about and your thought. Can you or can't you? Will you or won't you? Will you be, won't you be? Will you have, won't you have? Will she have, won't she have? Your children have, won't your children not have? What are your thoughts? Because what you think about, what you focus on, all of that will determine so much the end game of where you're going to be, and that's going to be ultimately your, your lifestyle. Let's move forward and, and why this, this happens. You know, because when someone gets started, uh, if you get started at bronze, this is, this is what we have found out. It sound, it, it's very easy to join. When it's very easy to join the business as a bronze, it's easy to leave. There's not much of a commitment level. You ask someone who gets started off uh, – and buying a McDonald's franchise, it costs them multiple seven figures. And they've got a huge bank loan leverage from the bank. Do you think they're a little committed? Oh, yeah. They're going to be there with, before the sun comes up. They're going to be there till late at night, the person that, that, uh, that bought that particular franchise. You'll find the person, and we've been finding this, that the people that have started with the Platinum Package are much more committed. They're more committed, and they're more driven. Next one. Better retention. People are sticking in the business a lot longer. They're not quitting. They're, they're sticking to the business. They're not giving up. Um, you will find in our industry that the attrition rate in our industry across the board um, is not too much different than the rest of the world. 
If you're coming from the retail sector where, where I came from, uh, where I spent years and years uh, prior to getting involved in this industry, the attrition rate was over 90%. I had a line of uh, shops, boutiques. I ran uh, the largest fashion house uh, in the country. I had a line of uh, stores, close to 300 stores across the country um, through my late 20s and into my, into my 30s prior to getting involved in my own business. But through those stores, over the course of the year, if you had 15 people working in a store at, at any particular time, we had a, an attrition rate. That meant we went through just about 85 to 90 percent of the staff, particularly in a part-time standpoint, not as much on a full-time, but particularly in a part-time standpoint, on an annualized basis. Life insurance is the same way. The studies show that 90 percent of the people that start to uh, that go into life insurance exams 12 months later um, are out of the game. The same thing with the financial services industry. So if you're looking at becoming a, a stockbroker or going into the financial game, they have a 90% annualized uh, attrition rate in that industry. 85% of the people that enter accounting never become CAs. 96% of the people that enter pre-med never become physicians. Over 50% of the people in North America, unfortunately, they enter marriage, eventually end up in divorce. So you've got attrition no matter where you are. But what has strengthened our retention here in NHT is this whole philosophy that started with this platinum package. They're more committed. They don't give up. They stick to the plan. They stick to the program. They strict, stick to their goals. They stick to what they you know, set out in terms of their goals, what they set out initially. And that is true commitment. When you could, could stay committed to what you committed to long after the feeling had left you. Let's go to the next one. So we're finding better commitment, uh, better retention, but you're also finding volume is growing. Volume is growing. Well, let's take a look at the numbers. What happens when the volume grows? Well, you look at the next chart here, you'll, you'll see what happens in the next chart. People come in at bronze. Um, if you bring in 100 people on your team over the course of whatever it is, 30 days, 90 days, six months, 12 months, whatever it might be, you've done $9,000, you can see on this chart, in business volume. As a silver, it'd be 25,000 in business volume. As a gold distributor, it's 50. As a platinum, it's 125,000. If your focus and your team was being built as whatever it is, bronze, silver, gold, or platinum packages. Now, if this was all your soft side business, this is a great scenario. And we put um, obviously the disclaimer up there in the, in the bottom right. But I wanna give you an example. When you start to build your business, and if this was all down through your soft side, your weak side business that you get paid 20% on, um, there's other commissions as well that you get paid on, as you know, with your matching uh, bonus, um, as well as your unit level bonus, and et cetera, et cetera, as well as your direct sales bonus. But this is strictly the cycling bonus of 20% based on your soft side volume. So if your whole focus on your soft side became this, these are your checks. 20% based on that team. Pick your team, pick your group, pick your check, pick your life. It's your choice. Let's go to the next slide. So your income grows. We just given you a chart on that, but what happens when the income grows? We'll go to the next one. And the next slide, when your income grows, it's not only growing, but the checks are coming faster. So things are moving quicker, faster, bigger, stronger. What does that affect? This is a big one. On the next slide, this is huge, and that is belief. And that is belief in yourself. They said that some of the keys to the success in our industry is one of the core, 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 core success traits that you have has got to be belief. Belief in the industry, belief in your company, certainly belief in the products, believe in the compensation plan, believe in the system, believe in the team that you're with, but the most important, is belief in yourself. Can I or can't I? Will I or won't I? Will I be, won't I be? Will she be, won't she be? All of this belief in yourself starts with a philosophy that will determine eventually your lifestyle. Let's go to the next one. So the, that is a big one, but think about it. Why? Because this is what you're duplicating. What are you duplicating? Take a look at the next slide. You are duplicating, and that is one of the key things that we have in our business. If you want to get paid while you sleep, you've got to have duplication. But the 
one of the beautiful things here is that you're growing personally. You know, it's been said out there uh, a number of times, a, you know, uh, Tony Robbins, um, a guy that I've listened to over the years that uh, was mentored by Jim Rowan, who, you know, I shared with you about uh, the five pieces to, to the life puzzle. He talks about, uh, you know, the half a dozen uh, uh, core, core needs uh, of a human being uh, in, in their life. These are the, the core needs that they have. Um, one is certainty. The next one is uncertainty. You know, you want to have certainty in your life um, to a large degree that, uh, one, you've got food on the table, you've got a, you know, a, a roof on the house, a, a house that's there, the, the car. You, you want certainty in your life you, just so you can sleep at night. But if you've got too much certainty, it gets um, too boring, I guess, mundane. You've got to have that edge, and that's that uncertainty. Um, this is not a training so much on the needs, but I want to talk to you about uh, what he what, what he shares uh, with all of us, which is so, so true, he talks about connection and communication, being connected um, with it, your your society, your your neighborhood, uh, your world, wherever you you are, you, you've got to be connected. He talks about love as, as a human uh, need, a very core, core human need, and also to serve and to give back uh, is so critically important to um, to to your world and and having that fulfillment. But he talks about growth, growing and growing yourself and growing personally. I'll never forget my mentor and my coach, um, Jeff Roberti, said to me, you know, a number of years ago when I got to a point financially, you know, I asked him 28 years ago when I got started off in this industry, um, you know, what, what do I need to do to, to be successful? And he said, you know, burning desire, willingness to work and be coachable, be teachable. And that, and that was to, to really, you know, to grow, but to listen. But he also said to me a few years ago, when I got to this point financially, when I called him, I said, so Jeff, now what? You know, it's a different motivation when you've got nothing in the bank than it is when you've got seven figures in the bank. That's a different gear. But he says, well, number one, don't ever forget where you came from. Always remain humble, number two. And number three, he says, don't ever, ever, ever stop growing. So what you're finding through this whole simple process, which started with this philosophy, this, plat this little platinum package tool incentive that we introduce is how much you will grow your team will grow but also what eventually happens is this and that's the next slide i think is probably the most important second most important here is what you're attracting remember you don't uh, achieve success you really attract success in your journey you are attracting what you are you're attracting what you're doing you're attracting what all of your actions is what you're attracting. So, you know, if, if your whole focus, let's go right back to it, to that bronze. What are you attracting? You start a bronze, you promote bronze, you pitch your whole team and building around the bronze. And, and, and there's no disrespect to that because that's all a part of our process. And I think, you know, as the, uh, the great God, the good Lord up there said, you know, he just provided us this world and it came down to us, you know, because of all of the, the challenges that our, you know, our world has gone through in, in, in history for thousands of years. And I asked my, my late father, who's a United Church minister, why, you know, do, do we have all of these challenges and adversities that we can't control? And he said, well, you know, it's so much of it has been just really um, God has given us this, but it's it's up to us in terms of choice. It's our choice. He's not making the choice for you. It's up to us to make that choice. So whatever choice you make, you attract. Every decision, every choice that you make in your journey, in your process, and what you do is what you're going to attract to your business and your organization and your world and your family. And then it ends up being this, which is the last one, uh, which is really, I think, the most important. It's not so much the goals that you set and the dreams that you have. It's what you become in pursuit of all of that. What do you become in pursuit of start, just starting in whatever position you start at in this business and this program? It evolves into that. So that lifestyle, what did you become in pursuit of that lifestyle? What did you become through this whole journey? Not so much of what you achieve, but what did you become? And what you become I believe, and you've got to be very sensitive to what you become in pursuit of what you want with your lifestyle. 
is the real true measure to the success that you'll have in this business. But the incredible, incredible thing, you know, they said this about, well, you know, think about this. I know uh, when I'm up at our lake house in Muskoka, standing on that dock on a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful calm day, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day, sun on the water, glasses, uh, glass, glass lake, there's not a ripple out there. I grab this rock uh, size of a baseball and I throw it way out into the middle of the lake, just this small stone. And it hits the middle of the lake, and then you've got this ripple. And this ripple goes forever from this one throw, this one stone that I throw into the middle of this lake. And this ripple goes until it reaches the shores, the north, the south, the east, the west, just, just from this little, little stone. Look at the rippling effect from one throw, from one stone, from one rock into the middle of the lake. When we introduced this platinum package, we introduced this pack of platinum package after, after trying, trying so many different incentives, so many different promotions, that some, you know, we'd get a single, we'd get a double. And I'm using baseball language here. You hit a single, you hit a double. Maybe we hit a triple, but nothing was really hitting it out of the park where you got a home run until we introduced the platinum package. That little platinum package that we introduced about four or five years ago in China, then around the rest of the world, that rippling effect has given us the numbers where we are today. And it all comes back to a choice. What choice are you making? How are you building your team? How are you building your business? How are you building your organization? What do you start with? Because so much. So, so important. How you start is where your people will start because they'll do what you do, not what you ask and tell them to do. But remember that start, that choice that you make is that little pebble, is that little stone that is thrown out into the middle of the lake because it's the rippling effect that you're going to have down through your team and your organization that will determine your lifestyle and where you are. So gang, that is just a very quick snapshot of the philosophy of why this has worked so well and why we're not only one of the fastest growing companies, if not the fastest growing company in our industry, not just in North America, but in the world and outside of our industry. We have set this industry on its ear. We have set Wall Street on its ear. What are you setting for your family? What are you setting for your team? What pace are you setting for your group and your organization and your lifestyle and your world and where you want to be?